Millions of Australians are beginning a long weekend at home, having scrapped Easter holiday plans. Figures appear to show the coronavirus restrictions are working. Australia has recorded its lowest daily rise in infections in almost a month, down to 96. The Prime Minister has used his Easter message to urge Australians not to gather with family and friends over the long weekend. Police are out in force, issuing fines to anyone breaching rules. 100 days after China reported a new pneumonia of unknown cause in the city of Wuhan, the number of confirmed cases globally has reached one and a half million, with more than 90,000 deaths. There are more than 430,000 infections in the US, with another 6.6 .6 million Americans becoming unemployed last week, taking the number of jobs lost to the crisis to more than 15 million. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is out of intensive care and in hospital where he's being treated for COVID-19. Another 881 deaths were recorded, taking the UK toll to almost 8,000. Australia's ambassador to Indonesia is returning to Canberra due to the virus spread, with more than 3,300 cases and 280 deaths. Limits on using public transport are being introduced in Jakarta. Well, let's talk about what's happening here now. And our reporter, Lara Himes, joins me from Sydney. Good morning, Lara. The message to stay home this Easter is pretty clear from Australia's leaders, isn't it? Well, Kirsten, it's not new. We've been hearing about this message for days from authorities. We've also been hearing it from state and territory leaders all around the country. And it's also been a message that has been echoed by police. We've even heard the New South Wales Police Commissioner come out and warn against it. Not only that, we've also been hearing from some of the regional areas where a lot of these would-be travellers and tourists would be going there in the lead-up to the Easter, the Easter break. They've also been saying and giving that uh, warning for those people to stay away even though that they would normally be relying on the tourism dollar coming through to bolster their economy. But it's been such a strong message that this year it's even made the Prime Minister's Easter message. The coronavirus means this Easter will be different and we will be staying at home. And it's important because we cannot undo the, the tremendous progress we have made together in recent times. So this is, uh, we are staying at home. Don't travel, don't go away. Lara, what is the latest with the New South Wales Minister whose behaviour prompted a police investigation? Well, John Harwin is an upper house MP in New South Wales and he's also the arts minister. He received a $1,000 infringement from New South Wales police for breaching those regulations surrounding essential travel. He had actually relocated from his property in Sydney's eastern suburbs to the central coast, which is about an hour north of Sydney. He says that he relocated there and set that up as his primary residence three weeks ago prior prior to the regulations coming into force, but police saw it differently. He's also been recalled by the New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian. He has issued an apology for that, and Gladys Berejiklian says that this just goes to show that no one is above the rules and everyone needs to heed the, the message. Bring us up to date with the number of cases now around the country. Well, there has been some improvement about the confirmation of coronavirus in Australia. At the moment, the national tally for these confirmed cases stands at 6,109. And tragically, there have been 51 deaths associated with that. If we just have a look at the breakdown of state by state, we still see New South Wales uh, leading, unfortunately, that tally there with 2,773 cases, followed by Victoria, which is nearly half one. 1,228 and of course following third Queensland 953. Most of the other states in triple figures and we also have the Territory sitting at 28 cases at the moment. The message though has been that we need to heed to the obviously the warnings of non-essential travel, maintain those social distancing and don't go out if you don't need to. Okay thanks love. And police will be busy this weekend making sure people aren't breaching those stay-at-home rules. One of the focal points will be on Queensland's Gold Coast, usually a tourist hub. Our reporter Michael Rennie joins me from there now. Michael, what restrictions are currently in place along the Gold Coast? 
Well, Kirsten, police are on the lookout for any non-essential travellers heading to the Gold Coast this weekend. I travelled along the M1 freeway this morning and uh, it was very quiet and that's really, they, they don't want people from outside of the Gold Coast area coming into the region at all. Uh, fines of over $1,300 will be going to those people if, the, you, get, if you get pulled over and, and the police think that you are a non-essential traveller, you face a fine of around about $1,300. Uh, there's beaches closed along the Gold Coast at the Spits, uh, here at Surfers Paradise and also at Cooling Gatta. Big fines, $1,300 fines for people uh, who are seen on the beach as well. We have seen a couple of people down there this morning, Kirsten, uh, some older gentlemen running along the beach. Maybe they've been doing that for a long time and um, they just uh, they weren't going to stop doing that for anyone. But um, yeah, look, the, the, so far, look, it's, it's quiet here at the moment because uh, the, it is starting to rain. It was a little bit busier earlier this morning. It looked like they were all locals, just people out having uh, exercising, which is allowed. Uh, but yeah, those restrictions uh, definitely in place now. You can see behind me the beaches are uh, closed. You, you, you can't miss that. And um, the, the mayor of the Gold Coast, Tom Tate, he hasn't ruled out actually bringing in further restrictions next week, tightening the noose even further uh, to um, really you know, shut that down. The Gold Coast uh, airport closed uh, last night because uh, all uh, commercial flights have been cancelled to uh, the region. And, and so, uh, yeah, the Gold Coast, normally this time of year is, uh, is really busy, busy and, and travellers from all around the country come here. But um, look, this Easter long weekend, it's a, it's, they don't want um, people down here that are non-essential travellers. But interestingly, you did say that there were a couple of guys who've already gone for a bit of a swim today and that they don't intend on changing what they normally do. Do you think there is a little bit of frustration with the, ref with the restrictions there on the Gold Coast? Uh, absolutely, Kirsten. Yeah, we're hearing that the locals are not happy about the beach closures. Uh, they, they love living on the Gold Coast and they love using these beaches. And the beaches that they've closed are some of the nicest you'll find anywhere in the world. And... Um, people have got time off this time of year, regardless of what's going on with, um, with the coronavirus epidemic. And they don't like the idea of the beaches being closed, but it, it's, it's the, the governments right across from all level of governments, we've heard that how important this weekend will be to try and flatten that curb with um, the coronavirus epidemic. So, you know, th this is just seen as um, something that pe locals are going to have to put up with at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's something they're not happy about, that's for sure. Now, Michael, there's been a significant drug bust on the New South Wales-Queensland border there today. Yeah, well, it actually happened on Wednesday. And so a 31-year-old man was uh, pulled over and they found nearly 100 kilograms of cannabis in his vehicle. Uh, so he was uh, arrested for that. He was also fined uh, $1,300 for breaching the, uh, the lockdown restrictions as well. So... Yeah, probably not the best time to be trying to cross the border for, for anyone at the moment, really. OK, that's our reporter Michael Rennie on the Gold Coast. People are beginning their Easter long weekend, of course, under very different circumstances to previous years. Stephanie Ferrier is in Melbourne for us and joins me now. Good morning to you, Steph. Take us through what is happening where you are. Yes, good morning, Kirsten. Well, we just heard about the beaches uh, up in Queensland. It's definitely not really beach weather down here with a little bit of a smattering of rain. But as you can see, I'm at the tan track, which rings the Melbourne Botanic Gardens. And at the moment, it's pretty busy. We've actually seen quite a few uh, people coming down here, jogging and walking their dogs. As you can see behind me, uh, they're constantly, there's a bit of a constant stream here. Now, from what I've seen, most people are obeying the, that social restriction and just jogging around or walking around in groups of two or in family groups. Sometimes there is a little bit of a log jam as obviously uh, groups of joggers uh, start to amass uh, together and so they're kind of trying to jump away from each other to make sure that they're one and a half metres apart. But of course, this weekend we have heard from Victoria Police they say that there will be at least 500 officers out in force. They've closed the beaches for what it's worth, but they'll also be out in force making sure that people do obey those social restrictions for COVID-19. And Victorians will face a fine of more than $1,600 if they fail to do so. Now, this comes 
despite the fact that we have recorded our lowest increase in the number of confirmed cases in more than three weeks, with just 16 more cases in the past 24 hours. Of course, Victoria is still the second worst affected state with 1,228 cases. Now, there's 12 deaths, sadly, in this state. 50 people remain in hospital with 13 of those in intensive care. Now, the main thing that the Victorian authorities are really looking at is the number of community transmissions. That's where they don't know where the source of infection is, and that has risen to 110 here. So the health authorities here say that this is definitely not the time, notwithstanding the slowing of that uh, trend and the flattening of the curve, it's definitely not the time to be taking our foot off the brake. One thing that police will be doing slightly differently from tomorrow is that they will no longer have to do spot checks at homes for international travellers because this will mark the 14 day period since people have been taken away and put into hotels. So that's one thing less that the police will have to check on. They still, of course, will be out and about checking on people that might have tested positive for COVID-19, as well as making sure that people aren't gathering. But at this stage, as you can see, people are just making the most of it, trying to get out and exercise while they can. Our reporter in Melbourne is Stephanie Ferrier. One place that is open for Easter is the Sydney fish market, but with strict crowd control measures in place to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Now, reporter Rani Heyman is there this morning. Rani, what is it like down there at the moment? Usually it's pretty crowded at this time. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, driving in here this morning, it was pretty breezy. We got a parking spot really easily. But when we came up to the entrance of the fish market, you could really see that police presence and that, uh, and that sort of presence of, of police here wanting people to make sure that they are social distancing. And as you can see behind me, there are actually people being temperature checked as they're walking in today. So every single person that walks into the market today is being temperature checked. They're being given hand sanitizer to put on before they go inside. And the police are really making sure that they control those numbers that are inside there to make sure that people um, have every chance of not uh, contracting uh, the coronavirus. Now, we know that normally this time of year around the Easter long weekend, this place would see around 40,000 people um, come here. There would be big lines, there would be big, uh, a lot of traffic. Um, but today it's, it's pretty quiet. There's not a lot of people coming down here. Um, so uh, right now it is looking pretty, uh, pretty calm at the moment, pretty quiet. Um, people are being temperature checked, but uh, the beefed up security is definitely having um, the desired impact. And how do traders feel about the restrictions in place there and the effect that they are having on, this, on their business at this really busy time of the year for them? Yeah, that's right. And um, the CEO of the markets has actually said that he expects uh, that this Easter weekend period, um, they could turn over around $10 million um, less than they, than they normally would. So that is quite a significant um, number there. But what they have said inside is obviously people are uh, wanting to make as many sales as they can for their businesses, but they also respect uh, the fact that these social distancing measures are in place and that they will be in place for some time and especially over this Easter long weekend.